Hey love bugs, this is Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today, this afternoon, this night, whenever you decide to watch this. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And if you enjoy what you heard, like and even share. Give me a thumbs up. It will greatly be appreciated, and thank you so much for coming by my channel and seeing about my video today. And to my returning subs, as always, much love. What's up with you? Much love to you. Thank you so much for the love and support. Always, you have stuck out with me through thick and thin. I really appreciate all that you do. And thank you so much. Once again, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my video. And today I'm listening to the soothing, calm, beautiful spirit healing, deep, calming, angelic peace, soul healing, star number 16. And I will be posting that link in the description box below. My video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's truth or dare. Truth or dare. And I'm not talking about the scary movie, truth or dare. Truth or dare. Are you going to live in your truth and walk in, walk in that honest truth? Or I dare you to sit up here and keep on going like you have a blind eye. And there's a lot of people that do that. You should, I would rather have truth. And dare. I don't need nobody daring me to do nothing. Especially, I don't watch too many horror movies. I don't, I don't take them dares. I rather go walk in my truth. Rather walk in my truth, no matter how bad it is. No matter how bad it is. I mean, I was going through some things this morning. Where, like I've said before, if you have watched my videos before, I always talk about Pat's bombing. And it's like, I'm not talking about literally, you know, retching or anything like that, but past vomit. It's like when you constantly are going through your awakening, whether it's Kundalini or you're just, you know, you're finding yourself. There will be things that will come up that you think that you have dealt with in the past and you're like, okay, whatever, you just threw it back, you know, threw it back in the back, in the back, back in the closet. So, um... When you throw it back in the closet, it's just like you didn't even take the time to hang it up. You know, you're just throwing it back in the closet. And that's just like you have to think about your memories and the things that you've done or the things that's been done to you. You know, it's just like, you know, your closet. You know, some people will just throw their stuff anywhere or whatever, but you have to think about that. If you keep throwing your stuff on the floor and not taking the time to hang it up, nice and neat, place your shoes back in the spot, whatever it is, it's just going to keep piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up to the point where you open up that closet, all that stuff just going to come pouring out on you and what is going to happen? I have seen too many videos where people have been found dead because they done piled up and hoarded too many things and the things done came back and hurt them, literally, literally, but I'm talking about in the emotional sense. The mental sense, the, you know, spiritual sense. You have to be able to deal with these things head on. Be able to face your fears. Be able to conquer the things that you have been through. And be able to, you know, deal with them head on. Don't take that dare and don't wake up and be blind to that fact and you'll be miserable throughout your life and then when things just slip away you're living in that world of regret walk in your truth be able to shine the light you know i always hear my dad tell me you shine so bright recognize that light that shines so bright in you, you that you'll be able to kiss god with that brightness that's that's some good brightness if <laughs> you if you're able to kiss god <laughs> with your brightness that's the best feeling that you could ever feel is just to know that you are in connection with that higher power like that. You know, you should be able to walk, you know, fiercely in your truth. Wake up. 
realize who you are, recognize your gift that God's, you know, blessed you with, or the universe has blessed, blessed you with, whatever you have, whatever you, you pray to, you know, knowing if this is from a good place, it's been, it's been bestowed on you. You know, don't ever take that dare and walk blind in your truth. Don't ever walk blind in your truth. Don't run away from your fears because your fears are the only fears itself. You know, that's only a psychological thing that we put in our heads, that we put that, you know, but they, we put that wall up to where we say, oh, well, we only can go this far when everything is limited, limitless to us. We'll be able to go and reach out and do things, you know, that we're, we only dream of doing but it's up to you to be able to reach that point to where you want to be able to say you know what <laughs> like i've said before don't allow your fears to hold you back i've done that and it you know and it is it, it's not fun because if you live in the like dog i could have did this i could have said this i could have you know if i did this you don't want to live like that you know live the best way you know how don't worry about where your, you know, where your path is leading you. Just keep on taking that one step every day because we don't know where our path is leading us. We might be on this road for thinking we're on one thing and we can join, you know, we collaborate with something else. And it'll blow your mind like, whoa, you know, I didn't even know I, I could do this. Yes, you did. Your higher power did. Your higher self did. You, it just took you a minute to realize that. And I always had to tell myself that, hey. You were able to do this, Ooh, do anything you put your mind to. I tell my girls that all the time. You can do anything you put your mind to. Mom, you think I can do anything? You can do anything you put your mind to. As long as it's not hurting nobody and it's in a positive way and it's coming from your heart, you can do anything you want to do. Do anything you want to do. I was always told, I can't do this. Or, you know, you can do this, but you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't put limits on things like that. If you know it's in a positive place and you know it's coming from a positive point or you know you got good things going about it, go for it. Go for it. As long as you're not hurting nobody in the process or killing anybody, hey, I'm all for it. All for that cause. But don't walk don't take that there and walk blind in that truth like that. Don't do that. You keep going. But I'm not trying to hold you back. I'm not trying to sit up here and take up your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to resonate with it. And, you know, maybe you found something in that that you might need to hear at that time. And, you know, that's your sign right there. So, if you have not already, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my video. Do everything positive, send out as much love and light and high frequency and positive vibes as you possibly can. And I will keep you in my prayers, and I definitely hope you do the same for me. And I will see you on my next video. Be safe and stay blessed. Peace. Much love and be wild.